Can we get one ball boy who can actually catch a ball? Hey, bro, it's the 21st century. They're called ball persons now. The kid has the easiest gig in the world. He makes Cujo look like a five-tool player. I remember when I used to have to clean the grease traps at Popeyes. Brooke, you make Popeyes proud. You make Popeyes proud. You make Popeyes proud. And y'all know what kind of sign and bonus a 38th round pick like me gets? <laughs> Dick. Exactly. <laughs> Every offseason in the minors, I used to go door to door selling porta potties. Boy, how do you pitch honey buckets? Your dad's a hedge fund vampire. You're never worth a damn day in your life. Oh, except for shoving a silver spoon up his own ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was born on third base, but uh, mm. that spoon, worth more than your contract is. Mm. Selling crap buckets wasn't even close to my worst summer job. Male prostitute? <laughs> no, man. It's supposed to be a job he hated. One off season. I picked up the dead. I mean, it was actually an easy gig. It paid crazy overtime. My uncle was the funeral director over at Peaceful Spirit Home, so. That sounds like an Indian reservation. Yeah, same outcome. Yeah, but with way less smallpox and genocide. All right, we're talking about the dead. Sounds like a job for the closer. <laughs> I can't save them. I don't close them. I mean, they used to call me. Fuck. This ball boy's giving me PTSD. Ball persons. What? I mean, these people used to call me all the time. Like 84-year-old Ann Jenny just passed away in the middle of the night. Yeah, what'd you do? I'd have to ask the relatives, you know, for some of her clothes. Wait, 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 wait. We're talking about uh... dress, bra, panties. Panties? Yeah. Now me and the family would work together and help get her ready for her last big day. You actually had to pull up Aunt Jenny's clam wrapper? Damn right. So that was your worst job? Nah, man. One summer in the miners, I was driving for Uber. Mm. One night I'm driving around, so I pick up this big old country dude and this fine ass girl he had with him. We're driving around, you know, average night, and she asks, can we stop at CVS? So I'm like, sure. You know, so I pull over and she gets all out, all cute and shit, and she comes back with the water for me. So I'm like, thank you. And then her dude starts to get all pissed, right? I mean, he's like screaming at her, and then I, I hear a smack in the back seat. I mean, this dude hit her in my fucking car. Damn. So I'm like, yo, you can't do that, man. That's the soul. Get the fuck out. He starts pushing her out of the car. I mean, like, really pushing her, you know? And she falls out of the car, and then she goes head over heels outside of the car, and her dress goes over her head, like some Marilyn Monroe kind of shit. I'm a guy, you know? It's a good-looking woman, so I'm gonna take a look, you know what I'm saying? This girl ain't got no panties on. Mm. And one more thing. She had a big old dong and a little set of balls. Mm-hmm. This girl ain't got no hands. A little set of balls. A little set of balls. God. I trade her in a second for our ball boy. Ball person, bro. Fuck off.